All right, there's so much to present. Uh, first off, super excited to be here. Actually, Mintbase, the original company, was born out of a hackathon at DevCon in 2018. So it's been a very, very gnarly journey uh, to get to where we're at, and to say the least. So today we'll be presenting the decentralized agent discovery protocol. I'm sure a lot of you folks have heard a lot about agent this, agent that, transaction builder base is doing this. Uh, we've been doing this for quite a while. And so here's a tweet from May 18th, 2023. I had a very hardcore midlife crisis at this point. Uh, there weren't a ton of users on Near. Everyone was on EVM. I said, what do we do, team? And the team just said, let's just do whatever we want for a month. And so that's what they did. Instead of switching to EVM, they went hard on AI, and they were able to build these ChatGPT plugins in May 2023. Uh, that would write and compiled contracts, deployed contracts, and generated UI contracts from ABIs. So that's quite a bit, right? So originally we were Mintbase, uh, uh, an NFT marketplace. And so we built this in the beginning to kind of do everything that we could do on the NFT marketplace. So Bitso was literally created out of how do we mint all of my NFTs uh, and list them for sale and generate an image uh, and transfer NFTs, do all that with natural language was kind of the beginning. So this isn't a big pivot for us. It was a, okay, let's see how that works. And that then got us to where this guy is. Uh, if you haven't messed around with it, I think it's one of the most advanced uh, blockchain transaction building mechanisms because not only are you, you able to build your own agent, uh, like here we have the safe account assistant. This took our team two hours to build. Uh, that allows you to deploy your safe for free, to add recovery, and do all these sort of things. Um, but it also has chain abstraction at the core. That means one account can sign for multiple chains. So just imagine in a prompt, and this isn't me saying imagine in a prompt. This is you today being able to go in and say, I'd like to deploy a safe on OP. I'd like to de deploy a safe on... Uh, Arbitron. I'd like to transfer my uh, USDC over to here. All that stuff is ready to go. So this is where I'm super excited to finally partner with people outside of the NEAR ecosystem. I love the NEAR e ecosystem to death, but there's a lot of other things going on out there, right? So SAFE, uh, I think, is one of the most trusted uh, EVM, Ethereum companies around. Uh, they've been building since the beginning. They were one of the first ICO folks. And to have them sort of working with us uh, is, is incredibly powerful. Um, and why we went with this route. So uh, if you guys aren't familiar with how chain abstraction works, it uses an MPC, which means all of you get, all these nodes get private keys, but you don't get your private key, right? They just kind of jumble them up, and then you get it at the end of the day. It's a little bit scary sometimes, because if that MPC dies or someone stops running the, the network, then you're kind of effed, right? Um, so we took an extra two months of building to basically give you guys Gnosis saves uh, for every MPC account. So the MPC account 227 is just a partial owner, and you can actually add additional owners. So if the MPC dies, you can add your own whatever owner, and you're still good to go. Plus, this is where the entire EVM world is heading, right? Uh, smart accounts. Uh, and that's where we get to this new world. Uh, we added Wallet Connect, where we can go in not just with the safe. Uh, you can see my three networks. We have Ethereum, OP, Base. Over on my right, I'm saying, can you deploy a safe on Arbitron? Uh, and it's just going to go ahead and do that. So Wallet Connect is awesome, because now this gets us into, you can go buy NFTs uh, on OpenSea, trade on Uniswap, uh, and connect directly uh, using your Pizza wallet. Again, this is not about the Bitta wallet. This is really about the AI transaction building uh, behind the scenes, picking these agents and so on. So we haven't deployed a token because I never wanted to get to a point where I said, we just deploy a token to deploy a token. There's so many governance tokens. There's so many, all these different tokens that are running. No one can really explain the true utility. It wasn't until about probably a month ago that we finally had our aha moment. So getting to that, Let's see, we've got our first cow swap. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can actually do this uh, because we just launched this today, so please bear with me. I'm gonna go into AI. We're going to find our cow agent, which is this guy, and I'm going to, can you swap 0.1 USDC uh, on Arbitron mainnet? So 
So this is going to go, build the transaction to proceed. Yes. And so really this is about having conversations with blockchains. It's not just about building the transaction. It's about I need to understand what I'm about to transact. I need to use these five different websites to do that. I want to see how much I have staked in the, in the system. I could choose that agent. I want to stake more into the system. Uh, and then there it is. So I'm going to hit approve. We're going to unlock using passkey. If you guys aren't using passkey for signing, I mean, I can't use any other wallets. It's, uh, it's really life-changing. Um, that's a whole other topic where basically the private key gets stored on your passkey, not in local storage, uh, and we use that to, to sign these sort of messages. So here we could see my order on CalSwap already. Uh, the transaction is about to process. You can see that on near. We can go over to here. And when this loads up, it's probably going to say an open order. Bum, 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 bum. Arbitron. So there it is. My order's open. If you're not familiar with how Arbitron or how CalSwap works, it's actually complex. Multiple solvers are trying to get you the best deal. So we had to build a bi directional communication agent that says, give me this. Okay, I got you this, but it goes back and forth before it finally does that. So once this says close, we can go look on that in a minute. But let's get back to the token because I'm sure that's probably the most interesting part. Right? The first natural language cow swap, right? Right here. <laughs> Using chain abstraction. And if you aren't keeping up with cow swap, uh, they're doing far more volume than Uniswap. They're kind of this dark horse behind the scenes that's uh, solving the MEV issue. Very exciting. So we've been focusing on the agent onboarding, making this stupid easy for developers to build agents, right? Using a uh, command to be able to, from scratch, make any smart contract into an agent. Uh, we even have this really nice little uh, NPM library called Make Agent that once you go fork one of these agents that we have, it'll fire it up, uh, the wallet, and you can actually interact with this agent with your code from localhost, and it'll update as you go. Uh, you can then go into uh, the playground. So if you go into AI, you go into playground, this is where uh, your agent will live. Um, and then if you get it verified, eventually that'll come into this world. Again, we have all sorts of agents like staking. You can stake. You can check your balances. You can analyze your wallet. You can see all your transactions. Uh, and it's, it's fascinating. So six minutes. Let's see. You guys with me still? Yeah. Eee! Okay, back to redacted. Where are we at? Um, okay, AI has two pathways. Uh, really, we're going to become more efficient and everything's going to be okay, right? Or we'll all become a dystopian monolithic powers uh, that is owned by one person. So how do we combat this? Like, for real. Like, you've heard so much BS over the world. We're going to solve this sovereignty, all this sort of stuff. I truly believe this is it. Agent discovery needs to be fast, safe, and decentralized for human thrival. This is the key to anyone being able to build their own agents, uh, load them up into a system, and then have a decentralized validator network pick which agent should be uh, selected to run those transactions, uh, and so on. So imagine every agent can be a smart contract, an agent can be just an API tacked on with some tra uh, transaction tools. It can be a lot of things. Um, and so here's basically the entire flow of our tokenomics. It's much simpler than you think. So let's say one agent uh, builds you know, a bunch of CalSwap transactions. Good for them. Uh, and I would love to hear if anyone else has seen this. I'm sure as I'm presenting this, we'll see this over and over and over again from this idea. I, I tell you, this is as fresh from our brain as it, as it gets. Uh, so agent, we need to combat fraud. Um, even though it builds that cow swap transaction over and over and over again, one day it could go, oh my god, that's a half million dollar transaction. I'm just going like, to send this money to myself. So to me, that's the, the core of the problem that we're, we're, we're combating with delegated agent staking. So agents can stake bits of token, uh, and other folks in the community can actually stake in that token as well. The bigger the stake is, the more likely that agent will be selected. Uh, to get a transaction thrown in front. We'll be running multiple agents behind the scenes, kind of like the same sort of solver network as uh, CalSwap and how that works. 
And uh, we'll be keeping a recorded chat log of every single uh, prompt immutably stored on Arweave uh, for that record. So it's Bitza's job and the foundations to make sure these uh, primitive agents get built, uh, making images, building vi videos, building transactions, combat combating fraud, and the validators network to store this information uh, and to constantly be rating these agents on speed, accuracy, price. Was this a better price or a less better price than this other uh, piece. So, and, and community members can do this. We see like 70 different CalSwap to, uh, agents being built because you're just able to go, you fork the agent, you load it up, you get it verified, and then off it goes. It's really about the decentralized uh, agent selector to pick and choose which ones have been around for longer, which one have a great reputation, uh, which ones have stake. Uh, obviously, if you build a DAO uh, agent, you could probably run that without much stake at all, right? Because you're not actually running any transactions that have value. It's, I want to pay for my users to easily uh, interact with my DAOs and so on. So we are Bitta. Um, I'm super proud of the team. I'm like holding back tears a little bit because <laughs> it's been a battle, man, six years. So let's go. Any questions? <laughs>